musicians, did you know that wells can talk to each other? I wonder what a well sounds like when it's talking to another well. I have a really good friend here today. His name is Harley. And Harley is my well friend. And when Harley and I talk, we often make well sounds together. One of our favorite games is to play wells up, wells down. And here is how we play. When Harley goes up, I make a well sound that goes up. And when Harley comes down, I make a well sound that goes down. Let me demonstrate for you. Can we show them, Harley? Ooh. Very good, excellent job, Harley. I like the way you went up and down. Would you try to make a well sound with Harley? Would you copy what he does with your voice? Excellent, thank you. Now, Harley, why don't you give them something a little harder? And this time, I'm not gonna do it with them. I'm gonna see if they can do it by themselves. Oh, very nice. I like that up and down you just did. What would it sound like if you started high, Harley, and then went low? Great. I wonder what it would sound like if you started low and then went high. Thank you for making well sounds with us today, Harley. I'll sing first. You echo, but I also want you to mirror my movements. Oh, my aunt came back from Timbuktu. She brought with her a wooden shoe. Can you tap your foot? Oh, my aunt came back from old Japan. She brought with her a waving fan. Now, can you add to your wooden shoe the waving fan? Oh, my aunt came back from old Algiers, she brought with her a pair of shears. Now what does it look like from my movement here that a pair of shears are? Exactly, a pair of scissors. Oh, my aunt came back from Guadalupe. She brought with her a hula hoop. Oh, my aunt came back from the county fair. She brought with her a rocking chair. So now you're waving your fan you're tapping your toe or your heel. You're cutting with your shears. You're hula hooping. And you're rocking in your chair. 
Oh, my aunt came back from the city zoo. She brought with her a nut like you. Would you help me one more time? Take your stick and let's swirl that stick around in the grass. Frog in the meadow can't get him out. Take a little stick and stir him about. Nothing. Okay, one more time, one more time. Frog in the meadow can't get him out. Take a little stick and stir him about. That frog is just not coming out. Hey. I got an idea. What if you say the words? Maybe he'll come out if you call for him. Let's try it. Take your stick. I'll start you and then you keep going. Frog in the... I saw it wiggle. Did you see the grass wiggle? Let's try the other stick. Here we go. Frog in the... That's the closest we've got so far. One more time. Let's try. Frog in the... Yay! Thank you so much, musicians, for helping me get the frog out of the grass. Listen to my song. Pitter patter, pitter patter, listen to the rain. Pitter patter, pitter patter, on my window pane. Can you do the motions while I sing the song? Pitter patter, pitter patter, listen to the rain. Pitter patter, pitter patter, on my window pane. Now, can we add the pitter patter? Pitter patter, pitter patter, listen to the rain. Pitter patter, pitter patter, on my window pane. Musicians, I need your help. Something's happened and I can't tell whether I'm singing or whispering or speaking. And I need you to help me because I don't know which one I'm doing. I even caught myself using my brain voice the other day and thought everyone could hear me and they couldn't. So I was wondering, could you help me? Figure out which voice I'm using. I don't know which one that was or this one is. I'm really confused. Can you help me? I'm going to say something and you let me know. Am I using my speaking voice or my whisper voice or my singing voice or my shouting or calling voice. I'll even put a spot for our brain voice. Let's try to help Miss Faust fix her problem. Hello there. How are you? It is so good to see you. Can you help me figure out which voice that was I was using? Are you sure it was my speaking voice? Oh, thank you so much. Let's try another one. Hello there, how are you? It's so good to see you today. Which voice was that? That was my singing voice. Oh, thank you so much, great. Okay, let's try another one. Hello there! How are you? It's really good to see you today. I hope you're 
we're doing great. Now, I kind of think maybe that was my whisper voice. No, it was my shouting voice. Are you serious? Oh, I'm all messed up. Okay, next, let me go through my grocery list. That was definitely my speaking voice, right? What? It was my brain voice? Oh man, Miss Faust, you are just completely confused. Okay, I got it, I got it. This voice right here, I know which one this is. Which one is this? It's my whisper voice? Wow. Thank you for helping me today. I was really confused. It's time for some movement exploration. Here's what I would like for you to do. Would you please take the yarn out of your instrument kit? You should have a nice long piece of yarn in there. Go ahead and take that out. Now you're going to take the yarn and you're going to lay it on your desk and you're going to divide your desk in half with that yarn. Straight up and down. So one toward the front of the room and one end toward the back of the room. Now your desk is divided in half. This side, on this side of your desk, this is going to be slow land. And this side of your desk is going to be fast land. Now here's what I need you to do. I need you to take one of your little popsicle stick characters out of your bag. Now take that popsicle stick character and put him over in slow land. And anytime he's in slow land, he's got to go very, 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 but as soon as he crosses over into fast land, he can go really, 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 really fast. So he can go as fast as he wants to when he's over here. But when your friend is over in slow land, they have to go very slow. All right, let's try it. Would you take your character and put him in slow land to start? Now, would your character please pretend as if they're going shopping? And if they happen to cross over into fast land, they can go really fast and shop very, very fast. But if they're in slow land, they have to shop very, slow. Excellent. Would you switch lands, whichever land you're in right now, would you switch? And would your character go swimming? Now would you take your character and swim it over to the other land so they can swim in the other land? character, would you switch lands again, and would you have your character pretend as if they are going for a walk on a sunny day? And move your character to the other land. Now move your character back. And now your character can move freely between the two lands, fast land or slow land. Now would you take your character and would you pretend like he or she is driving a car? 
Now drive the car over into the other land. Drive the car back into the other land. And throw the brakes on the car. And thank you for doing movement exploration with me today. Take your hands, put them behind your back. Five little ladies going for a walk. Five little ladies stopping for a talk. Along came five little gentlemen. They all danced together and that makes ten. Can you take your hands, put them behind your back, and will you do the motions with me while I say the rhyme? Five little ladies going for a walk. Five little ladies stopping for a talk. Along came five little gentlemen. They all danced together and that makes ten. What is five plus five? Ten. Very good. Both hands behind your back. Here we go. Five little ladies going for a walk. Five little ladies stopping for a talk. Along came five little gentlemen. They all danced together and that makes ten. Hands behind your back one more time. Five little ladies going for a walk. Five little ladies stopping for a talk. Along came five little gentlemen. They all danced together and that makes ten. blackbird sitting on a hill, one named Jack and one named Jill. Fly away Jack, fly away Jill. Come back Jack, come back Jill. Can you do the motions while I say the rhyme? Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill, one named Jack and one named Jill. Fly away Jack, fly away Jill. Come back Jack, Come back, Jill. This time, you do the motions again, and I'm going to say it, but I'm going to say it a little different. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack and one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. What was different about that time when I said it? It was much softer, wasn't it? Last time. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack and one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. <laughs>
I brought a tambourine with me. Can you say tambourine? And a tambourine sounds like this. Now a tambourine is played by hitting on it and it makes these little metal discs shake together, creating that fun little metal sound we hear. Listen, listen, here I come. Someone special is the drum. you do me a favor? Would you please take your hand and lay it out like this? And would you take two fingers of your other hand and would you pretend like you have a tambourine? And would you tap that tambourine for me? Very nice. Listen to my song. One more time. Listen, listen, here I come. Someone special gets the drum. Bling, bling, hammer with my hammer. Zingo, zingo, cutting with my saw. Through. Did you hear bling bling in your brain voice? Did you hear it up here? Let's do it again. See if you hear it in your brain voice. Ready? And bling bling, hammer with my hammer, zingo zingo, cutting with my saw. Did you hear it? Excellent. One more time. Here we go. Ready? And bling, bling, hammer with my hammer, zingo, zingo, cutting with my saw. Let's keep a steady beat. Now, let's take that steady beat and let's put it into groups of two. Two here, two there. Two here, two there. Two here, two there. Two here, two there. Now, let's move that to another part of our body. Let's put it here. Keep the steady beat first. Now, let's move it and put it into groups of two. Two here. Two there, two here, two there, two here, two there, two here, two there. Now let's move it to the other arm. Keeping it steady. Two here, two there, two here, two there. Now let's keep the beat in groups of two with classical music. Two here, two there, two here, two there. 
here and there. Oink, oink, oink. That little duck went quack, quack. 
That little 